Five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, welcome to week five of Explorers Online. I'm Dave and I'm one of the Explorers leaders. Oh. Today we're going to be talking about how Jesus fills up our joy. Over to Emma for the first activity. We're going to have our first activity now. And in our new Explorers Online series, we're going to be looking at a bunch of miracles that Jesus did in the book of John. And John calls these miracles signs because they point us to who Jesus is, just like a sign points us in the direction of something. So we thought it would be fun to teach you some signs from a type of sign language called Makaton. So get your signing hands at the ready and learn some of these. So. The first one we're going to teach you is a really useful one, it's hello. So a little wave, hello, can you do that? And the next one is goodbye. Nice easy ones. Now these ones might come in use if you're asking for something at home. You might want to ask for some chocolate, that's a yummy one, chocolate. Or maybe some ice cream, pretend like you're licking an ice cream, ice cream. But don't forget those manners, because you've got to ask with a please or a thank you. So a long one is a please, short one thank you. So you might want to say, please can I have some chocolate? So, another thing you might want to ask for is you might want to ask if you can go on your bike or maybe to do some dancing. Those are two more signs. Right, let's see how well you can remember them. Let's have a little practice now. Are you ready? Can you show me what chocolate is? Chocolate, brilliant. What about dance? That's a funny one. And please, brilliant. And what about, hello, hello. Ooh, okay, we've got a few more. What about, thank you, nice short one. Ice cream, bike, pretend you're riding on a bike. And then last but not least, goodbye. Good job, everybody. It's time for our Bible reading and we've got Josiah who's gonna read for us from John chapter two, verse one to 11. Two days later, there was a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his followers were also invited to the wedding. When all the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, We have no more wine. Jesus answered, Dear woman, why come to me? My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you to do. In that place, there were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Each jar had about 20, 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled the jars to the top. Then he said to them, now take some out and give it to the master of the feast. So the servants took the water to the master. When he tasted it, the water had become wine. He did not know where the wine had come from. The servants who, who brought the water knew. The master of the wedding called the bridegroom and said to him, People always serve the best wine first. Later, after the guests have been drinking a lot, they serve the cheaper wine. But you have saved the best wine, you have saved the best wine till now. So in Cana of Galilee, Jesus did his first miracle. There he showed his glory and his followers believed in him. Well, it's time for a song, and we've got a little bit of a treat this week. We're going to sing a song by a friend of ours called Michael Tinker. You can find more of his songs on YouTube. It's called There's a Party Coming Soon. Sing along, dance along, and join in. There's a party coming soon with lots of food to eat There's a party coming soon And our joy will be complete There's a party coming soon Satisfaction guaranteed There's a party coming soon It will meet your every need You don't need a car, you don't need a plane, like some superstar. You 
don't need your party clothes, just come as you are. The price has been paid. The party's coming soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is free. There's a party coming soon. Christ has paid for you and me. You don't need a train. You don't need a car. You don't need a plane like some superstar. You don't need your party clothes. Just come as you are. The price has been paid. The party's coming soon. I wonder what is the best party that you have ever been to? Can you think of it? Now, in Jesus' day, the best party that they ever went to was often a wedding. And we celebrate different parties in all sorts of different ways, don't we? Different celebrations. So at Easter, we celebrate with chocolate and chicks. At Christmas, we celebrate with crackers and presents. And at birthdays, we have cake and candles. Now, imagine going to a party and being told, sorry, not enough party bags for you, and, and yeah, yeah, there's not enough food, so most people can't have any food, and then suddenly all the lights go out, and everyone's just sitting in the cold and dark the whole time. What a rubbish party. Would that be any good? No, it wouldn't. Now, at, the wed at weddings in the Bible, we see that wine is something that symbolises joy and celebration at their weddings. Um, but in the passage that we had read to us today, the wine runs out, doesn't it? Jesus' mother says to him, there's no more wine. It had run out, the joy had gone from that party. It wasn't gonna be any fun anymore. But Jesus said to her something a bit funny, didn't he? He said, woman, my time has not yet come. But why did he say that? Well, his main reason, Jesus's main reason to come to earth was to die on the cross, wasn't it? To die on the cross to save us. But as we see in the passage today, he was going to give us a big clue, a big sign as to who he was. And we'll find out that soon. But first, let's have a question that's going to come up on your screen. Now, Jesus, he really wanted to help 
and he also wanted to show them something even greater. He wanted to give them a sign, a clue as to who he was. So he told the servants to go and fill up six huge jars with water. Now they were much, much bigger than these jars and they were used for a ceremonial washing that the Jewish people did. So he, Jesus told them to go fill them up with water. So they filled them up and then took some other water and gave it to the man in charge of the wedding. He couldn't believe it. He said, this wine is amazing. He said, you have saved the best wine till now. But hang on a minute. The jars were filled with water. How, why could he taste amazing wine? How had that happened? Well, Jesus had turned the water into wine. He would brought the joy back to the party. Now, if Jesus had not been there, like in the past, the party would have gone wrong. But Jesus had come in, now that Jesus had come into the world, it can mean joy. Can you remember when the angels came to announce Jesus' birth? They said, we bring you good news of great joy because Jesus coming into the world has brought us joy. Because Jesus, when he came into the world, he brought us the way to God, didn't he? Which is amazing. Now let's have a look at why he did this miracle. Because in verse 11 in the passage we had read, it says, Jesus did his first miracle. There he showed his glory and the followers believed in him. By doing this, Jesus revealed his glory and he showed that he really was the all-powerful son of God. He was the Jesus who had come into this world to bring joy for everyone. And that is true. But life isn't always perfect and f full of joy right now, is it? In fact, do you know what Jesus promises us? He promises us one day there will be an even bigger and better feast in heaven for everyone who believes and trusts in him, where the joy will never run out. In the book of Revelation, there's a verse that's talking about the people who believe and trust in Jesus. And it says, write this, to those who are invited to the wedding meal of the Lamb, that is this big party in heaven, they are happy. These are the true words of God. And this is the promise of Jesus. Right, we're going to hand over to Dave now, who's going to do a game for us. Okay, explorers, I've got a challenge for you now. And for this, you're going to need pens and paper. I like to dress up in funny outfits to try and make people laugh and bring joy to their lives. Now, can you draw one of my outfits and send it on to us? Outfits. We're going to sing another song. We're going to sing Rescuer by Wren Collective. And go.
this week's Explorers Online. I hope you're feeling really joyful as we've been learning that Jesus fills up our joy. And that story that we had earlier got me thinking of two things. Sometimes people might think, if I followed Jesus, won't my life become more rubbish and boring and, and dull? Well, the reality is following Jesus is the best thing. Jesus is the one who brings the most joy to our lives, doesn't he? Because he shows us the way to know God, the God who made us and brings us ultimate joy. That's so exciting, isn't it? There's nothing better than knowing Jesus. But the second thing uh, that that story meant for us is that sometimes things in life can be quite hard and difficult, can't they? But we were pointed forward to a greater celebration, weren't we? Not just the wedding Jesus went to, but a greater celebration in heaven when Jesus comes back and takes us to be with him and everything is made perfect. That's so exciting. And even when life is hard, we can know that one day everything is going to be better. Well, that's great news. Jesus fills up our joy. But we thought we would uh, have a little takeaway challenge once again uh, so that we can continue having fun in between uh, our videos. Well, today's uh, takeaway challenge is going to be this. We would love for you to make a big poster, including some of the things that you really love doing. For me, it might be a musical instrument like my guitar. I love playing the guitar. It might be uh, my rugby ball because I, I really love rugby. Um, it might be lots of different things that you put on your poster that you love. But in the middle of that poster, what we want you to write is these words, Jesus fills up our joy. So put all of your pictures and, and write about all of the things that you love. And in the middle, Jesus fills up our joy. And then on Thursday, when we have our very, very special Explorer Zoom time, when we come together on our video call, you can come and share them and collect some points. And points mean prizes, don't they? Well, finally, as we finish, we've also got a memory verse that you can remember. And we'll see who can remember this on Thursday. This week's memory verse is from John's Gospel, the same bit of the Bible that we had earlier. It's from John chapter 10, verse 10, and it says this, I came to give life, life in all its fullness. That's what Jesus said. I came to give life, life in all of its fullness. Well, I hope you've had lots of fun. Remember that wonderful takeaway challenge. Remember that memory verse and let's just pray now as we finish. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus into the world to show us the way to you, that he died on the cross, that he rose back to life so that we can know you and be our friends. And thank you that there is nothing more joyful and help us to be filled with joy because we know you. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, we'll see you all next time on Explorers Online. We're really excited for next week, so come back and come back on Thursday for our Zoom chat to see our friends and learn more about Joyful Jesus. There's a party coming soon With lots of food to eat There's a party coming soon And our joy will be complete There's a party coming soon Satisfaction guaranteed There's a party coming soon It will meet your every need train you don't need a car you don't need a plane like some superstar you don't need your party clothes just come as you are the price has been paid the party's coming soon